Hello everybody, it's Jesse here with Budgeting Talk with Jesse. Hashtag Budgeting Talk with Jesse. So we have been breaking down how to budget. Um, and we started about five weeks ago with a budgeting talk with Jesse and how to learn how to budget your money when it comes down to um, different events, different um Things that you wanted to do, you know, huge purchases like cars, Jessalyn Alana, large purchases and uh, buying a new house or buying a house, um, wanting to do big things. All right. Mm -hmm. So today we are going into chapter seven of the breakdown. Last week we reiterated the, to the side how to save. Well, how do you want to save? So, it starts with once you've got a financial goals, decide on how much you need to save on each goal, okay? It takes actually, if you want a $100,000 house, let me move this out the way. If you want an actual $1,000 home as a down payment for the five, first five years, you have to save at least $1,666 a month before you could even, even talk about wanting to have a huge house. So if you wanna, if you, if you want to build a $1,000 emergency fund by next year, you have to start saving $83.33 a month in order to have an emergency fund already in, in the savings, okay? Uh, and if you want to pay off a $5,000 debt at 10% interest, by the end of next year, you have to make $440 in a monthly payment, okay, for next year, okay? So those are the things that we were talking about last week on Monday. Today, we are talking about scheduling in a household meeting, okay? This is a huge thing. Um, a lot of people don't know that they need to schedule a huge meeting before you want to do all this because you're not doing it by yourself, especially when you're married or you have siblings that are living with you. That's another thing, okay? So if you're single, you don't have to worry about those things because, of course, you're not accumulating any kind of bills. You're living a single life, so it's like whatever, you know what I mean? But if you are a single and you do want to own your own car, you do want to own your own house, then that's what you got to start doing. You got to budget out. For the things that you want, of course, okay? So, but if you have a life partner, budgeting is a team project. Always have that communication open because some people don't take consideration of other people and they go and spend money that they're not supposed to spend and then all the bills are jacked up, you know what I mean? Then we're trying to figure out why and how and who did it and who didn't and then started blaming and that's how it starts. That's how everything starts. An argument starts off on money, you know what I mean? Money is a leading cause of relationship stress, okay? 35% of couples in a survey stated that this was the cause of the huge, it could be a divorce because of money situations, because nobody's speaking, nobody's talking, nobody's communicating on what is being spent and what is not being spent and where is it and this and this and that. If you aren't on the same page, your attempts to budget may be thawed or throttled when it's when your spouse, you know, hits the mall or splurges. And I'm I'm a big <laughs> I'm a big person. I love to spend money. <laughs> I'ma tell y'all now, but you know what I mean? But I know when I have to budget, when I start budgeting, I started budgeting our home six years ago. So I've been on point, I think, um, most of the time. My rent has never, it's never been late more than once, maybe, maybe twice in a year. But everything is on order. You know what I mean? The bills get paid way before I go into buying anything because that's what, that, those are our needs. The mortgage, the utilities, the cell phones because they're a necessity. Um, my medication, that's another thing. Um, uh, car notes. All of those things are primary basic things that you are going to need in order to be able to maneuver yourself, okay? So when you go and, um, you know, start spending money that you're not supposed to spend or you're not, you're, not, you're not economizing everything in order, then that's what happens. If you fall off and, you know, um, then you have to strife, you know what I mean? 
So it's important to have a state of the union meeting, even if you maintain separate finances. So your partner will understand why your spending habits have changed or how and or he or she can support your efforts. Okay? So we have to support each other when it comes to budgeting because it helps us be able to have a stress-free relationship on top of having uh, the communication going in and out of what you're spending or what you're not supposed to be spending. Oh, this is what's going on. This is what's going on. So you want to bring it out. Okay? So that, I think that that's an awesome point when it comes to relationship because people don't understand. I mean, I'm a perfect example. I used to love spending more than I didn't have. But, you know, when things happen and you're in a position where you can't spend like that, you know, you have to pull back. And then now I'm in the position where I have my businesses and I can go ahead and spend whatever I want. But it's still not the fact because I still have to put in half of whatever I need to spend at the house. So, in all honesty, I can't spend the way I want to spend just yet. But, you know, I'm working on mine, you know, and my husband is working on his. So we're working together to put it to, all together again. And since we just got a bigger home um, and we just got another car, another vehicle, you know, things like that can sometimes make it strifey. So you want to try to be able to communicate your faults and communicate what it is exactly that you want to uh, 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 buy. I'm into so many things. I have my my... My event planning business, I'm doing my weddings, I'm doing my events, um, you know, I do crystals, I do consulting, I do business management now. So it's like all of that stuff is money maker, it's a money maker decision and it's a money maker. And when I have that platform now, what I have with platform and there's so much other stuff to come now on top of that. Well, now I have to learn how to finance everything that I have because now my businesses are about to start, you know, going crazy. Just like my event planning business. My event planning business just is it just burst in and it was like, bam, here you go. You know what I mean? So now I'm picking up a lot of clients. Now I'm starting to get clients from here to there. I have a client that already I'm going to be having uh, her wedding in June. Then I have another wedding that just came up and I'll be having that wedding for 2021. So, God willing, everything works itself out, but I have to learn how to know where my money is going because I have to invest into my business in order for my businesses to work. You know what I mean? And people don't understand that. You know what I mean? So, you have to break it down to them. You know, you got to be realistic of what the number is. What's your budget? What's this? What's that? What's this? And I talk to my brides. I talk to my clients, you know, very realistically because people think that, oh my God, you're doing an event. When he's coming into your business, this is another subject. When, it ha when you have a business and you're running a business or biz or multiple businesses, it comes to play where, okay, people think that, okay, you're friends or whatever. Oh, that you're going to do everything for free. No, it doesn't work that way. Because if it was like that, then there wouldn't be no business standing. Okay? So, guess what? No, you're not getting anything for free. I've gone to, I have my education and I have gone through school and for this. And you guys see my diplomas. Y'all guys see my certification. I don't play when it comes to my certifications and I don't play when it comes to my schooling because that's all, it works all in itself. You know what I mean? Some people, they might not have that certification. That's why they make it as a hobby. Like they say, a hobby. To me, this is not a hobby. To this, this is my life. So I'm going to put it out there like it is. You know what I mean? So if you work it, you you want me to work for you, then that's 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 the way it's going to be. I might take some corners, but I'm not, I don't always take corners for everybody. You know what I mean? But with that being said, you guys, I thank you for watching. I thank you and I see you guys later because I have a lot of more work to do. Okay. So thank you so much and God bless. Happy day. Happy Monday. See you next Monday with chapter eight on deciding what kind of budget you want to make. Okay. So thank you guys. God bless you guys. And thank you for being here at Budgeting Talk with Jesse. Hashtag Talking Budget with Jesse. Bye guys.